Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's project is, well, this iPad, I believe it's Gen 1, that's the original iPad here, that I found uh, lying around, completely non-responsive. So we'll see if we can do uh, anything about that. Uh, it's pretty old, uh, obviously, technology, but you know what? If we can fix it, uh, why not? So. First of all, let's connect it to the charger and see what we have there. I mean, I have tried this already, but I'll just show you. So that's my uh, charger analyzer. Let's see if we can focus on this one. Yep. All right. So what do we see here is actually it's not completely dead. As you can see that the amperage uh, is non zero, but it's very minimal like 3.3 or 20, 24.8. It's like it's trying to do something, but then it just goes back to, uh, to nothing. Um, not entirely unexpected. So basically, what we expect to see here is at least 0.40 uh, amps uh, for the slow charger and maybe about one even for the, uh, for the regular faster charge. So yeah, as you can see, nothing, nothing is on the screen. Yeah, we can zoom out now. Yeah, nothing is on the screen. In fact, actually, if we wait a little bit, it will start uh, turning the backlight on uh, for half a second and then switching it off. So nothing is really on the screen, but uh, it lights up just a little bit. So, and I strongly suspect that it's just dead battery. Uh, that's pretty common. Uh, it's been probably a very long time since that uh, tablet has been charged or discharged or used. So that's likely to be the case. Uh, in any case, if, uh, if that's true or not, uh, we'll have to disassemble it. So that's the only way to, to go from here. Uh, and just to be clear, so I have tried so less invasive uh, options first. So just put it on the charger. Uh, try to connect it, wait for uh, some hours, uh, maybe even like a day or two, uh, in hope that it will actually just start charging the battery, but no, uh, no luck. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, it did not help at all. Unlike our previous episodes with, let's say, a uh, smartphone like Samsung Galaxy S8 or uh, Microsoft Surface 4 uh, that we did, Microsoft Surface Pro, uh, where the screen is glued, uh, and most modern devices are actually that way. Here, we don't actually have that. The screen is actually attached to the, to the case, to the body, uh, with the latches, like some plastic ones, some metal ones. So not glued. So that's actually, well, on one hand, it's great. We don't need to cut the glue in. On the other hand, I'm kind of got used to cutting glue nowadays. And the clips here uh, might not be actually as easy to, um, to unclip. Uh, basically, we, we expect to break a whole bunch of them. That's supposed to be a one-time use. Well, well, we'll see how that goes. Well, let's just get going. So the thing is, as the usual, we'll need to uh, create an opening first. Yeah, there's a button here. I'm trying to be careful around that. Okay, so that was where my mistake was. So, okay, actually this side. This side has this plastic, you can see it. Okay, let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah, you see this? Plastic tabs. Not the, not the metal tabs. So metal tabs are on the other side. All right, well, I'll leave them there. Oh yeah, and here we have it, some pieces of the metal tabs that were 
Let's see if we can focus on that. Yeah, that we can expect it to, to break. That's all right. We're going to replace them. Okay, now we cannot remove the screen just yet because there are quite a few short cables or well, not quite a few just a couple uh, which we need to disconnect before we can detach the screen okay so let's just make sure yep that's like i think that's the last clip okay yeah so we are floating Yeah, so there's this cable and then there's one smaller cable here and then there's the well, the bigger cable display cable at the back but it's a longer one so first we'll need to disconnect these ones yep and that's our cable connector And this one is disconnected. Now for the other one. Is this one? Okay, let's see. There we go. Now we should be able to just pull out that cable. There we go. Okay, I was actually quite a little bit more forced than I preferred to, but that, uh, yeah, the latch was unlocked. So, and then we have actually two more cables. Okay, just on the other side. All right, let's switch sides yeah I'm pretty sure that's our connector yep there we go so this one is detached now we have this screen cable bit of tape on it yep and now the connector let's see is there still tape oh no okay so we need to lift the latch yep there we go Now we should be able to pull the connector. Yep, there we go. All right. Turn to mode. Okay, so our screen is detached. All right, let's inspect the damage to the clips okay so this one's a fine maybe not nope this one's is not fine broken okay this one is fine this one is broken this one is broken all right that's actually the side yeah so that's the side with the plastic tabs. Okay, this one is broken. 
think. Or maybe just bent. This one is fine. This one is fine. This one is fine. This one is fine. Actually, the side is not too bad. The corners are worked. So let's see again. So one, two, three, four. Five are broken. And well, we don't build the screen until we assemble it later. So yeah, let's see what we have here. I mean, the battery is right here. I'm not sure if it looks buffed up. Not really. Maybe a little bit. In any case, I think we will need to remove the battery uh, because that would be the first thing to try to take care of. So we will have a couple of things. So I'll remove the battery. I'll try to charge this battery because I mean, it doesn't seem to be uh, damaged as it is. I mean, it might still be dead, but we'll see. Uh, if I would be able to charge it a little bit enough to for internal charger to pick up, that might be it. Uh, that would be a great result. Uh, if not, then I should be able to replace the battery uh, with a new one or new to me. Uh, and uh, we'll take it from there. But the first step is to actually remove it from here. All right, so let's let's get started. All right, so next order of business would be to disconnect that cable. There we go. That is a communication board cable. That's the communications board. So now Need to remove it. All right. And there we go. So that can stay with the case. There's some adhesive involved, so. And there we go. Yeah, that's the piece of adhesive that was sticking out in there. All right, comb board is out. So next. They take care of the GPS antenna, and that would be right about here.
So I've had some adhesive cover. And then let's see if we can zoom out. Yep. So that's the connector. Let lift it. Yeah, we should be able to. Let's pop it out, yep. Okay. Wait, no, the, the headphone socket. So that's our headphone. And its connector is right here. Popped it up. All right, and it's set. Now, the SIM board connections. Yeah, that's the 3G model of the iPad. The Wi-Fi version of that may not have that, but yeah, we do have it here. So let's see, you need to open up this one, I think, yep. Yeah. All right, and we pulled actually the connector. There's a lot of tape in there. That is still taped at the bottom here. Yep. There we go. Okay, so that's the SIM card connection. And now there we have a speaker connection right about here. And there we go. And the speaker's connector is out. All right, let's let's get back to the logic board. And that's the okay, let's zoom back out. That's this shielded piece here. Oh, 
All right, uh, the dock connector, that's the big connector at the bottom, but the logic board connection is right here. And there we go. That is our big connector. And now we can get the logic board out. Like so. Yeah, except uh, I think the power button connections assembly, which is right here. Uh, can you see it? Yep. All right, so let's disconnect that. Yeah, that's the one. it's out. All right, the logic board is now out. All right, good progress so far. Now we need to take care of the SIM board. That's the one, it's on the adhesive, that's this black stuff in here. Help release the slot. Like so, SIM card slot. This whole gooey glue assembly of the SIM card, SIM card slot is also out. All right, excellent. I think we're almost done. Well, I'm getting to the to the battery that is. So now the battery is still attached with three screws, one here, one here, and one here. Can get better view. So two screws here and here. All right, now we can carefully, yeah, so that's whole middle assembly. We have still a couple of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectors there, which we will need. Okay, let's, okay, so there's a plastic cover here like that. Let's pop it off. there that's the plastic cover for that and now 
need to just connect the antennas. And you want that? And that one is up. Okay, so the connector board is completely out. So that's good. Now we have a speaker cable on the left right here. So we'll need to pull it out. So let's see, there's still some tape in there by the looks of that. Yep. All right, and we can just pull it up. Yep. So here goes our speaker cable. Yep. And you can see speaker assemblies. Oh, that's right. So that's our Wi-Fi antenna that we'll need to take care of because guess what? More tape. All right. So that's Wi-Fi out or Wi-Fi antenna cables. And now we should be able to take care of the speakers yep all right so the speaker assembly is out all right and what's left is finally our battery connected a lot of adhesive to the case well, i think that would be a time to deploy our weapon of choice which is again isopropyl alcohol uh, and let it soak so we can remove the battery all right let's go so i think the, the more obvious places to to put our alcohol is right here so there are a couple of seems to be a little bit like cutouts so that's where we're going to pour some isopropyl alcohol. There we go. All right, let's check it out. Yep. All out. There we go. Yeah, this adhesive is not nearly as bad as the one I saw on Surface Pro. Uh, maybe it's older, maybe it's, well, it's certainly different because this one is clear, the other one was black. And there's still some, quite a bit of adhesive actually, yeah, on the case. But again, with the alcohol, it actually just peels right off. You can actually clean this up.
I think I'll do the rest of the cleanup off camera. It's not nearly as exciting. <laughs> so, and uh, the next step should be uh, taking a look at this battery, see if it's actually salvageable. If not, we're going to replace it, or maybe we'll try to actually resuscitate uh, this one. So, we'll see how it goes. So, for now, clean up. All right, and that's done. The cleanup is complete. You can see. Let's see if we can do it better. Like, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, so good enough. So that it doesn't interfere with the placement of the battery again. And look at. That's the chunk of glue that I managed to pull out of here, like, look. That's pretty ginormous. All right, so next, figuring out what's, what's up with the battery, and then we'll be seeing if it fixes anything or everything and hopefully we assemble back. So see you then. All right, so let's get replacing the battery and uh, reassembling this. So that's my reconditioned battery. Uh, that's the one that we just tested and it seems to be working, but here is the new battery that we're gonna put in its place. I already put a little bit of adhesive tape to the sides. It's actually not super flat I mean the casing, so it actually does not line up with the case exactly as you can see there is a uh, pattern there so that should the tape should allow it to stick closely to the case so this one goes out and out and this one will go in but first we'll need to And the important part would be not to forget to uh, route this cable uh, properly or I'll have to remove the adhesive again and repeat this exciting exercise all over again. I think that one is a Bluetooth. Bluetooth antenna. Oops. No, so the terminals go, uh, I guess, this side. That antenna cable goes here. Now it sticks to the case. Alright, and it shouldn't be too difficult to remove because it's all right on the edges. So if we need to remove it, just pry under the edge and that's it. There's nothing on the, on the insides. Alright. Okay, so 
What do we do next? I think next is our speaker assembly. And that goes here. Okay, that's that Wi-Fi antenna cable goes actually under here, under that tape, but probably then goes in there. All right, so first. So the screen, so let's connect the screen and see if it all still works. So again, the same procedure. So I first prefer connect this one. It seems to be in. Yeah, I can see the line all the way. All right, so let's put the latches on this time around. Finger is best. All right, so that's a digitizer cable. So then the display cable, data cable, and then the, that's actually ambient light sensor. That seems to be connected. Let's see. Yep. Wedged. Okay, let's just connect our uh, ambient light sensor. Should be an easy exercise. And it's in. Right there. All right. 
right. Now it should be all assembled. Right, that's a good sign. All right, we're in. 53%, okay. Touch works, I can hear a sound. So speakers, well, can I work? All right. Uh, what else? Well, charging, of course. I need to check. All right, so you probably have heard that. And yes, we are charging. Yep, 53% charging. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's that for now. Uh, I will need to test uh, well, connectivity. I don't know if I'll be able to do 3G, uh, but I certainly will check Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, and uh, the, the next step, assuming it all works, uh, I'll need to wait for clips uh, and just reassemble the screen back in its rightful place. And that would be hopefully the last part of this video. And then I'll see you then. All right, and now several weeks later, uh, back to finish this iPad repair. And if you remember, we did replace the battery here. And the last piece with, and everything was working, uh, except the last piece that was remaining is to replace a few broken clips that inevitably break when you open this uh, first generation iPads. And I finally got them delivered from China, somewhere else. Uh, that took a while, but now we can uh, we can do that. All right. So, actually, in this case, despite a lot of finagling here when I was just assembling, actually most of the clips did survive. So, literally every single clip on this side, six of them are intact. Uh, there are no clips on this side. They're just plastic tabs. And actually on this side as well, which I think is the three G model because on non-3G, just Wi-Fi model, there are clips here as well, but not here. And other clips are here, and here, yeah, we have some broken, so out of the four, uh, three are broken. So this one is, well, sort of intact. Let's see if we can land it back. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be fine. But for the rest, we'll need to replace them. And that's pretty simple, straightforward operation. We'll just remove the screws. Like so. This one is a little bit trickier because it seems that, I don't know if it's a grounding strip or something. Uh, basically, it covers the, the clip. And now we can take off these ones. Let's see if we can zoom in. Like so. Broken. Broken. Oops. And this one is a little bit trickier because it's actually glued to this tape. Yeah, you can see it's glued. I will need to detach that. Uh, 
and there we go. All right, so now we only need three more new clips. And I mean, in all fairness, you don't really need to have all of them in place. Uh, that would work just, I mean, actually in this case, I'd probably just move one of the ones from the sides to the bottom because at the bottom there's only one left. But even with that, it's, it's not going anywhere really. So that would be fine either way. All right, so let's just put this one back here. And they're guiding pins in the plastic, so it actually is easy. Well, it should be easy to properly seat them. Yep, like so. Now we need to put the tape on top. And now we can screw it back in. And the other ones would be easier because there, there's no tape there. And that's that. Yeah, you can see the two pins. So they're all seated. And this side is all good. All right, so we have all of the clips in place. Let's see if we can, yeah, they should work fine. It's a little bit too much out there, but yeah, it should be fine. So now it's time to put the screen in and connect the cables again. Now the antenna cable right here is connected. That was surprisingly difficult to accomplish. I'm not sure exactly why, but yeah, it just did not want to connect. Well, it was defeated. Okay, now the display cable is on. Now it's time to just to press it on. And to do that, first we need to do the, the tab. So on this side. All right, so the tabs are in. I think now it's, we just push it in. Oh, that's cool. And that's that. Uh, it's flat, nothing is sticking out. All right, so let's turn it on. Screen is on. Touch is on. How about that home button? Home button is on. Yep. 
So that's done. I'll need to wipe the screen off a little bit. It's quite greasy now after all this handling, but it's done. It's all working. That's great. The battery is replaced. I even though we actually didn't need to really because we could have reused the previous battery. And with that. Now look at that, beautiful. Hey, if you like this content, click the like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment if you enjoy this content, if you like something else, something different. Maybe uh, let me know if you're inspired, get inspired uh, to do something on your own. And with that, I'll see you next time.